books that I actually bought. I really hope I'm going on nine minutes now. I'm gonna see if I can try to, I'm gonna try to um, make this as quick as possible because I'm just gonna tell you guys the book. Um, so I've got Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Um, of course, this is an American classic. So of course I got the book. This book is so thick. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but it's in my library, so I'm so happy. So we'll see. Of course, every book that I that I show you guys here, I will be doing a review on it eventually. I just don't know when, but you will have a review eventually. This um, the next book is The Musée and Other Plays by Molière. Um, of course, I really like Molière, especially after reading Tartuffe. To, um, Tartuffe. So I'm really looking forward to reading other plays from written by him. Um, who He's a comedic playwright for you, those of you who don't know. He's a French comedic playwright. Um, next I have The Histories written by Herodotus who is the, the probably one of the oldest historians ever to live. He lived way back into ancient Greece and the uh, Hellenistic period. So I'm literally looking forward to um, kind of just going through this. This is more just for me. I don't think I'll be doing a review on it, um, but it's more because I'm really, I'm, too, I'm minoring in history. So I feel like everybody who studies history should at least have this in their library. So I'm really looking forward to breaking through this. Um, next, I have Daisy Buchanan's Daughter. Um, this book, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, that, that's, that's what it is. It's Daisy Buchanan's daughter. So just to give you guys a quick um, synopsis, it says, she was born in the jazz age, d jazz age, grew up in Paris, the American Midwest, after her father's death at the polo field and her mother's later suicide. Daisy and Tom Buchanan from The Great Gatsby, guys. Um, as a young war reporter, she um, she waded ashore up the Ohama Beach and witnessed the liberation of Dashu. She spent 1950s hobnopping in Hollywood with Marlene Dench and Gene Kelly. She went to West Africa as an ambassador's wife of the new founder, Dan. She comforted a distraught Lyndon Baines Johnson in Washington, D.C., and the Vietnam War turned into a quagmire. And today, in June 6, 2006, Pamela Buchanan Murphy Gerson's um, Caldwellers 86th birthday with some asperity she's willing for a congratulatory phone call for the president of the united states brother is he ever going to get a piece of her mind so very interesting she sounds really really cool it sounds like a like a character building kind of story which i'm really looking forward to and if you guys can't see the artwork in the front it's kind of like a steampunk kind of style so i'm actually really looking forward to reading this this actually sounds really good um, again, a very thick book, more than 600 pages, but it's, she sounds really, really cool. And I always look for, I always really love stories with char really great, strong character building and authentic characters. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, I'm sure if you guys probably can find it on Amazon, if you guys are interested or add it to you to, or, or add it to your Goodreads TBR. Next, I have Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora, um, by Zora Neale Hurston, as well as Morgan Alt Atwood's The Handmaiden's Tale. Of course, both classics, so I'm so happy that I'm reading them, that I have them in my library finally, and I can, and they're on my TBR, so when I get to them, I'm gonna be so happy. Um, of course, my favorite book of all time, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. I just didn't have my own copy, so I went out and bought myself one, because I saw that it was on sale for a dollar, so why not get it, of course. Um, this I'm really happy I got is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I am so, so, so happy I got this. On top of that, I have the, um, the, uh, this edition of the book that I have, that I have several old Americana books that are from the same publisher, the International Collectors um, Library in Garden City, New York. It is so beautiful, beautiful script. This book has to be older, definitely older than me, um, this edition of this of the story. And look at that, look at that beautiful cover. It's gorgeous. It's just, I'm so excited to read it. I'm honestly so excited. And it even comes with the little old, little um, tags that you can, for your pages. Um, next I have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I had never got to read this in school, so I'm definitely gonna get to it, just like I'm, um, just like, uh, Catcher in the Rye. So that's another one I never got to read. Um, next I have Henrik Ibsen, A Doll's House and Other Plays. Comment guys below if you guys have read this play. I've heard so many people read this play and I'm so surprised that I have not even got to it yet, which is absolutely crazy. But anyway, um, next I have Kurt Vonnegut's A Man Without a Country. So I think this is, I think just um, free prose, 
written by Kurt Vonnegut, who's one of, of course, one of the writers of the Beat Generation. So I'm really, really excited, which is, I guess, in a way, the descendants of the modernist period, of the modernist um, writers. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. I have not read anything from Kurt Vonnegut. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, tell me guys below if you guys read this story or if there's another Kurt Vonnegut or any story from the Beat Generation that you guys really love and recommend me to get because I'm, I'm looking for more um, books written by the Beat Generation writers. So just let me know. And oh, we're almost done, guys. I'm going on 15 minutes. I'm, I'm going to try to fly through this. I have The Prince written by, written by an Italian writer, Niccolo Machiavelli. I am so sorry for those of you if you guys speak Italian, if I butchered the name, but another classic, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I think that this was a commentary on monarchy in Italy. I'm not 100% sure, guys, because I don't have time to go through every book to tell you what it's about. But like I said, I will do a book review on that book. So when it gets to it, trust me, you'll know what the book's about then. Next, I have The Metamorphosis and Other Stories by Franz Kafka, of course. I start, I'm actually almost done reading The Metamorphosis. And there's so many other stories like in here that I'm so excited that I get to read. And Franz Kafka is one of my favorite write, modernist writers. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. Um, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. This is another book that um, Harper Collins gave me. <laughs> which is The Curious Charms of Arthur P Pepper, um, written by Phaedra Patrick. I put it, I uh, took a picture of it on my, and put it on my Instagram. She is on Instagram. I am so excited because I think it's about a man who his wife just, an uh, old man who his wife, his, his elderly wife just passed away. And I think he's trying to find, um, and he, I think, figures out that she left like oh he's trying to figure out the secret life that she had I think before him I believe I don't I'm sorry guys I don't have time to go through exactly like what it's about because I'm already I'm already going on 16 minutes but um but yeah so that's kind of, um that's really interesting so this is so I know I'm gonna be on an emotional ride with this book but you guys will learn more about it when I get to the book review of course but thank you so much Pedre Patrick for for commenting on my post and I will let you know when that review comes up um and last but not least, I have East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I'm so happy that I got this book because I have Of Mice and Men and I have not read that book either, but I knew I wanted East of Eden because um, I really was interested in East of Eden because I'm a huge James Dean fan and I heard, and he's in East of Eden the movie, but when I heard that um, John Steinbeck, actually, it's a John Steinbeck novel, I'm like, okay, let me not even watch the movie. I'm going to read the book first. So guys, this is something I do plan on hitting next summer. You guys can see how thick it is. So I'm saving this for next summer. You guys will get that review. And as well as the film review, once I finish reading the book, I will watch the movie and get you, release both to you guys. So that is all, but not yet. I still have something left for you. So while I was at the Harper Collins booth, I was talking to, I think her name is Brian, Brian. She's on Instagram. I, um, I, I followed her on Instagram, but she heard that I was a booktuber and she was like, and she gave me an excerpt of Zenith. If any of you guys follow um, Sasha Alsberg, who from A Book Utopia, she's a very well-known booktuber, as well as Lindsay Cummings, the author who wrote The Murder Complex. They are partnering together and writing this book called Zenith. So I got an excerpt. Of course, they gave me this little pamphlet, which has first um, um, Gina, um, Gina Show Alter's First Life and then Zenith. So I have both excerpts here. And I started reading the excerpt for Zenith. And here's the thing, I've been so out of young adult lately because I just felt that it's so dry and so overdone and I'm just not feeling it anymore. I think also my age because I'm 21 now, it's just young adult doesn't do it for me anymore. I just more gravitate towards adult fiction. But this book, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Cell 377, the prologue is actually pretty pretty like interesting like I'll, I'll read you the first few sentences um 36 days of endless darkness it surrounded valid cortes in cell 377 twisting and turning itself into his bones until the darkness had become one 
His thoughts had long since stopped running wild with every groan and creak of the prison walls. Though a thinning blanket, his, his only companion, was, tight, rapidly, was wrapped tightly around his shoulder. Though it didn't block out the cold kiss of the air that snuck, that snuck through the threads, I am Valencortis. He rolled the words over and over in his mind. It was the only thing that kept him going, and it leashed a sharp coil of courage around his veins as he added, vengeance will be mine. It's actually, it's pretty, I I was intrigued by the prologue. It's pretty strong prose, um, really good, I mean, pretty strong writing style. I'm, I'm, I have not read the first three chapters because this has the first 33 pages of Zenith. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, who are interested in reading Zenith, Zenith does not become released until next summer of 2017. So I probably will get a copy of Zenith. Um, but it's pretty interesting. And it's funny because Sasha actually saw my post and liked it. And it was really cool to talk to her. Um, so that was pretty cool. I didn't get to meet Lindsay, but I did get to talk to um, Sasha over Instagram on direct message. So that was really cool. Thank you so much, Sasha, for your kind words. And I'm looking forward to reading the rest of Zenith. And of course, I will leave you guys my impression of the excerpt probably in a future, in another, in another video sometime this week. And of course, a book review on Zenith itself. So that is all the books that I have for you guys today. I probably said through 33 books, this is already going on 21 minutes, but I will end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for spending time to read, to um, watch my videos and to talk to me on Instagram and to be so connecting. I feel so good to be part of the BookTube universe. It doesn't even matter how many views I get on, a, on the videos. You guys just make me feel like I'm part of something and that makes me feel so good inside. So I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!